Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight is a New York comedian making his network television debut. Please welcome Anthony DeVito. <laughs> So, this is what I look like. <laughs> Ethnically ambiguous. <laughs> Which means I'm white, but man, I get to the airport pretty early. <laughs> uh, I don't know, okay. <laughs> 8.30 flight, and I'm there 4 in the morning. <laughs> I do think racism will die out eventually, just because everybody's having sex with everybody. So, yeah, more and more races are mixing. In a hundred years, racists are gonna have to be so specific. They're gonna have to be like, these damn quarter Mexican. Half Jew. Quarter Koreans are ruining this country. They're Taco Bank laundromats. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I also don't get homophobia. One of the funniest things I ever heard told to me by a black, flamboyant, over-the-top gay coworker. We were just talking. I was making conversation. I was like, it's cold in here. He goes, cold? Uh-uh. It is chilly willy penguin bones up in here. Uh, how are you not a weatherman? That is... <laughs> Describe the room temperature as a great idea for a children's book? Wow. I kind of just have to be with whoever. I just keep getting hairier. <laughs> I don't know at what point you're legally a cat. <laughs> oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> and none of the hair is distributed evenly on my body. If you're a girl and you're looking at my face and you're like, oh, if that's a preview of what lies beneath, no, thank you. Uh, but when I take off my shirt, my chest isn't that bad. But then I take off my pants, and I am still wearing pants. <laughs> and that's where it's all kept. <laughs> it's like a centaur. A friend of mine was talking about sex. He was like, how many girls have you ever slept with? What's your number? And then my number was so low that he goes, all right, just how many people have ever seen your penis? <laughs> and I don't know the answer to that, but that's a way more interesting group. <laughs> you put my mom, <laughs> Dr. Michael Scapatulo, <laughs> some random Gap employee. <laughs> All in the same room, that's all they'd have in common. <laughs> that's how I'm organizing one table at my wedding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just one. Watch them figure it out over time. <laughs> College roommate, <laughs> some guy that works in my gym, <laughs> my aunt's dog. <laughs> Just because in the beginning, they're going to be like, how do we all know Anthony? <laughs> but then two hours into it, they're going to be like, have we all seen it? <laughs> that explains the Afghan hound. <laughs> My grandma is actually getting married. 90 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Her boyfriend, 62. Yeah, all right. Not even a cougar. That's a different animal. <laughs> it's like a water buffalo. I don't even know. So here's the other thing. So she's 90, he's 62. She's also deaf. He's blind. He has one leg. It's an interracial relationship. And they met in a nursing home. Yeah, well, uh, all right, well. <laughs> I mean, I never felt more pressure to write a joke. <laughs> a lot of things. The first time we ever met him, I was talking to my mom about it. I was like, isn't that crazy? My mom goes, I know. I can't believe she's marrying a black guy. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe that's the part you can't believe. <laughs> we just met a decaying pirate. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, 
Oh. <laughs> You're hung up on that? Holy hell. <laughs> My girlfriend is actually eight years younger than me. I'm 34, but when we first started dating, I was 30, she was 22. I knew what I was getting into. Every now and again, she's gonna act her age. When she did, I let it slide. But friends of mine will get so mad, they'd be like, you're just gonna let her behave like that? You're not gonna say something? I'd be like, don't tell me how to raise my girlfriend. <laughs> there, all right, thank you very much. You can hear him every week on his podcast, The Rad Dude Cast. Anthony DeVito, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs>